The Sensory Division of the Institute of Food Technologists defines sensory evaluation as a scientific discipline used to evoke, measure, analyze, and interpret reactions to those characteristics of foods and materials as they are perceived by the senses of sight, smell, taste, touch, and hearing. Sensory evaluation tests may be used in product development, research, quality control, and shelf life studies. In each of these applications, sensory evaluation data may be used as the basis for decision making. Sensory tests may be divided into three groups on the basis of the type of information that they provide. The three types are discrimination, descriptive, and effective, acceptance preference. Selection of the appropriate test should be based on clearly defined objectives for the project. Discrimination tests are divided into two groups, difference and sensitivity. Difference tests are used to determine if there is a difference between or among samples. The methods of discrimination testing commonly used are the paired comparison, triangle, duo trio, and ranking tests. Tests of this type are especially useful in selecting and training judges, in product development, and in quality control. They are relatively easy for the judges as they require only a short memory of food quality. One disadvantage of some of these methods is that only two samples are compared at a time. Thus, it may be necessary to pair every sample in a series with every other sample. The objective of descriptive testing is to characterize and or compare samples with respect to one or more specific characteristics. Tests in this category include attribute rating, texture or flavor profiling, and quantitative descriptive analysis as well as some modifications of these methods. Effective testing is used to determine if panelists like a product, if they prefer one product to another, and, or if they intend to use a product. These types of evaluation may appear to be identical. However, it is possible for a judge to show a strong preference for a sample, but not use it or accept it for reasons other than its likability. Effective tests may be called acceptance, preference, or consumer tests. Large panels, around 50 to 100, are used in this type of sensory evaluation and are often called consumer panels because untrained, inexperienced, or naive judges are used. So, this is the brief overview of sensory evaluation tests. We will discuss each test with examples during the coming video lessons. Thanks for watching.